Phillips and this is my video log for Sunday, June 30th, 2013. Um, just a real short video log today. I just wanted to encourage you all today on your plan to just worry about today. Just just um, plan for and get through today. That's really all we can do. And um, I wanted to show you my bracelets that I got. I took a picture and posted it on my Facebook page. But I got this um, bracelet in church today, this one. And it says um, Wisdom, Courage, and Serenity. But I thought it was really cool because... The logo to me kind of looks like a tick shape for life logo, the tick shape for life. So it, it really um, kind of reminds me of, of my journey. So And it has a serenity prayer on the back too uh, on each thing. So um, God grant me the serenity to, um, to uh, God grant me the serenity to change the things I can change. The cur no, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. And then this bracelet here is um, a stop, challenge, and choose bracelet that my health coach got special made, special ordered, and um, I ordered several um, of them because I think they're so cool. So they remind me to stop, challenge, and choose in my day, you know, and basically what does stop, challenge, and choose mean? Um, stop means uh, stop, <laughs> quite, quite literally. There's no other way to interpret that except stop. Um, and this is regarding any eating or drinking decisions. This is, I mean, it's a great method for any kind of decision, but, um, for, for me right now, it's the stop, challenge, and choose for my eating and drinking decisions so that, um, I can continue moving toward optimal health and ultra health, which is where I've chosen to go. So stop means stop. Um, give yourself a few minutes, a couple seconds even away from what you are about to do, what you are about to eat, or what you're about to drink. Stop. Next, once you've bought yourself a little bit of time, because all we need is a little tiny bit of time to think about this, because a lot of times uh, when we eat off plan or off program and when we choose things that are not um, conducive to or complementary to our um, desire to move toward optimal health, and create health in our lives. And mostly the time we think, well, I, it was just so mindless. I just didn't even think about it. I just, it was there and I ate it. Well, that was a choice and it was a habit. And so you feel like you didn't think about it, but you actually did. Um, so anyway, you stop, you challenge whether what you are about to do, i.e. eat or drink, such and so, will move you closer to that which you have said that you desire, which is optimal health, or whether it will move you farther away from that primary goal. Once you challenge what that decision would mean for your journey, then you choose to do that which will take you, obviously, closer to your primary goal of attaining optimal health. I say obviously because Obviously, that's the, 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 the best choice that we can make. That's the choice that's most consistent with what we have said that we want. When we choose the other, when we choose the eating or drinking the food item that is not on our plan for the day, that, that will not take us toward optimal health, we really are acting in a manner that's contradictory to what we have said that we want. So in that case... Um, you know, I, I, I always say there's no good choice or bad choice because the choices themselves are not moral decisions. Um, eating on plan doesn't make you a good person, just like eating off plan doesn't make you a bad person. Um, one choice will get you closer to your goal of primary health, the other will get you farther away. So if you view it as a timeline instead of a moral decision or being bad on your diet, um, really it makes a lot more sense when you view it as a timeline. And, and, and honestly, for me, I took a lot more responsibility for my decision that way because, you know, when I looked at it in terms of good or bad, I mean, I mean let's face it, sometimes we just want to be a little bad, you know? Like, I don't know, there's an inner teen in me who sometimes just wants to be a little bad and act out a little bit, you know, a little rebellion, you know, constant 15-year-old um, in me that I'm always dealing with. Um, and so when I took the moral decision away and decided this is not about being good or bad, this is about choosing health or not, it really made my decision a lot more clear cut and uh, a lot uh, more consistent with my long term goals. So that's it. People, stop, challenge, and choose. I hope you have a wonderful um, Sunday and you know, stop, challenge, and choose. Um, and anything will work. I mean, you can get any kind of little bracelet like this and, and you know, any color and just get a Sharpie. 
and write stop challenge and choose you can even write it on the inside if you want well I guess it doesn't matter it's you know reversible mine just has it on one one side but if you wanted to write it in sharpie or whatnot then you can wear it with that part in so only you know what the bracelet means um people will wonder but I like people asking what it means because I don't mind telling them all right have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you uh tomorrow bye